So I recently upgraded my Evenji VM to the latest version 5.0 so that I could get access to the latest virtual images that this virtual platform has to offer. In this video, I'll show you how I did it. All right, so as you can see, I'm currently running version 4.0.169, the pro version. And what I wanna do is go to Google and type upgrade EvenG from 4.0 to 5.0 because 5.0 is currently the latest version. So I'll go ahead and open this link from EvenG to review the full steps. And this is the document that I'll be referencing while I perform this video tutorial for performing this upgrade process. And don't worry if you have trouble finding it, I'll also have it included in the description of this video. All right, so to go ahead and get started, I'll go ahead and launch my EvenG Pro VM since I wanna be able to access the CLI terminal. All right, sweet. So I'll go ahead and get logged in. So before we get started, there are a few prerequisites that need to be in place to allow this upgrade to be successful. For one, you need to have a valid internet connection. For number two, you need to be able to, a DNS needs to be reachable from your EvenG virtual machine. Number three, no third party repositories are allowed. So that's a disclaimer. And then all EvenG labs must be stopped uh, in this backhand window if you have anything running. Also, if you're using EvenG in the GCP platform in the cloud, they don't recommend that you perform this upgrade process. Instead, they recommend that you install the EvenG 5.0 in a new separate virtual machine. All right, so with that being said, I'll go ahead and dive into the first step, which is recommended to create a folder uh, that's going to essentially back up all of the labs that I currently have in place. So I'll go ahead and do that by doing a slash opt opt slash unit lab semicolon tar to zip the folder slash root slash labs backup dot tgz and i'll call this labs per the example all right so boom it's went ahead and uh, backed up all of the labs that i currently have so sweet and now what i'll go ahead and do is to free up space i'll issue the command apt auto remove okay it did not like that because it is typed as one word, app auto remove. Okay, upgrade zero, newly installed, and went ahead and did that, blah, 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 nothing to remove. So if I do a, if I do a DF dash H, this is gonna show me how much storage that I have available on this VM. So currently I'm at 73% capacity, uh, but that's still room to use. So I, I should be fine for this example. To confirm that DNS is working, I'll simply issue a ping to a URL, and I'll make it simple. I'll just go with google.com. And here I can see that I'm successfully getting responses. If this doesn't work, this is likely indicating that DNS isn't working for your uh, EvenG setup, or you may just not have internet access. So you wanna check both of those. All right, so next I'll go ahead and get started with the app update to update uh, this Linux kernel. So I'll perform that command and let it do its thing. All right, so that's just finished performing that app update. Now I'll issue the command app upgrade and I'll hit enter. It's gonna prompt me, uh, do I want to confirm? I'm gonna type Y for yes. Uh, just so you can see what I'm seeing a little bit better. Let me just move this up some. All right, so that's just finished upgrading. So now I'll go ahead and issue this final command, apt dist upgrade. Okay, and now that that's finished, I'll go ahead and top this off with a reboot. All right, now that EvenG has successfully rebooted, I'll go ahead and log back in. All right, so now that I've finished pre-staging the upgrade environment by upgrading the Linux VM to the latest version, I'll now go ahead and perform the upgrade for EvenG to 5.0. I'll do so by typing this pretty long command. Uh, so definitely use the link in the description to follow along so that you can type out this command as well. All right, so that looks about right. If it's not, it'll tell me, and I'll go ahead and hit enter. So it's saying type yes to continue, so I'll type yes. And here it'll go and perform this upgrade process. So I'll give this a moment and I'll see you when it's done. All right, the EvenG server has just finished performing the upgrade and now it's prompting me to reboot. So I'll go ahead and press enter. All right, so EvenG has come back. I'll go back to my browser. And now if I go ahead and refresh this page, let's see, my browser is having a bit of trouble here. So I'll go to my history 
and I'll just clear my browsing data. Clear from all time. No thanks. And so I'll go back over to Evenshe. I'll give this a refresh. I'll click the advanced settings and click log in. And hey, now I can see my EvenG Pro VM is running that 5.0 software, admin Eve. And if I log in, just to confirm that it's on the new version, if I go over to here and I type, for instance, Juniper, I can see that this version currently contains the newly released Juniper VX switch. So if you're having issues on your end, try re uh, clearing your browser data and uh, relaunching that connection to EvenG. All right, well, that is the end of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.